Welcome back. We're joined by Coach Brad Hood of the Allen County Scottsville Patriots. We were kind of grilling you uh, last segment about, you know, the mindset of coaches and where they're at in the playoffs and, you know, some more questions. Well, well we've got co Coach here. Let's uh, get all the insight. We well, absolutely. And, Coach, obviously uh, big regional championship here in Bowling Green. Warren Central against uh, an undefeated uh, Bowling Green Purples, ranked right. number one in Class 5A, right. have been all, all season long. They're expecting ten to 12,000 people. The Purples have already beaten Central once. And, again, this is, you know, the game's already happened by the time this airs. But just to get your input, you know, how do you go into a game like that? I mean, you know, is it advantage Warren Central a little bit from the fact that, you know, the Purples have already beaten them? Do you, you know, I just, they're such dynamic teams, and, and they're both so good. You know, if you're Kevin Wallace, what do you say to them? If you're, if you're Mike Rogers, what do you say to them? You know, uh, I don't know if there's advantage anybody, but, uh, you know, from my experience, you know, from it, it's hard to beat a good football team twice in one year. And, uh, you know, and, and, you know, the last two years, uh, our second round game had been against teams that we had beat pretty handily in the regular season. And uh, just something about it. I mean, you know what to prepare for, you know what to do, but, but it, it just seems like that team's always a little better that second time. And, uh, you know, the, the one thing with, you know, apparently it was a good game the first time. I think it ended up being 21 to nothing. But, yep. uh, but I think that happened pretty late in the game. So, you know, and, and then Warren Central's won, I believe, three in a row up till that point. Yeah, two. Uh, two so, yeah, two. So, so, you know that, uh, you know, both teams are, they know very much what the other team's capable of doing. Uh, you know, and, and you've got the kids from Central that, that don't want to lose probably that twice in one year, but you've got the kids of Bowling Green that's worked so hard for yep. this undefeated season and, and to get to the state championship. And then, lo and behold, what's in the way in the regional championship, probably their number one rival, uh, you know, throughout their schools. And, uh, and you know, I, I don't know if there's any advantage. Uh, you know, it, it's just uh, what an what a exciting weekend it should be at Bowling Green. Uh, and what you know, what a great game it should be, and I'd say the crowd will probably be intense. Yeah. I'd say you know, and a lot of people, very few people playing right now, so a lot of a lot of other yep. fans, just football fans, will be out there to probably watch. You know, what I pick to be one of the better, more competitive games going on in the state this yep. week. Coach, for the teams that are in this area that may be fortunate enough to uh, get to the state championship, as you guys were playing at Houghton Smith, what's that crowd like? I mean, I know last year you guys had that Man. whole stadium. I mean, that whole side of the stadium was just filled with nothing but red and right. white. So for the kids and even for the coaches, what was that like having that whole same field playing in a college stadium? Well, you know, uh, for our kids, we're, we're used to having a good crowd. Uh, our, our fans in Allen County love that school. Yeah. Uh, they love that the sports there. And, uh, you know, they, they go a lot of places. I mean, we go far away and they're still, you know, we took over 2,500 people to, to Louisville Western last year. Uh, but uh, to walk out, I, you know, I, one of the most – just awesome feelings I believe I've ever had. And just to see the look on the kid's face. When we was out there in warm-ups, you didn't really pay attention to it. And people were still cluttering in. When we walked out for pregame introductions and to see that whole side, you know, I mean, as far as you could see, it was just standing room. And, and I think it really showed our kids. And, and it definitely hit home with me what it meant to people. Uh, you know, it, it was a sense of pride for our county to be there that night. And they represented it very well. And, uh, and to, to see the look on our kids' face to really kind of put in perspective what it meant other than just them playing a football game anymore and uh, to know that many people were over there supporting them was just one of them, them moments that you'll never forget as a coach and, uh, and hopefully the kids will never forget as players. Coach, you know, when you get – I'm going to go back to this region championship and, and the final four. Mm -hmm. Do you have to um, worry about – the finality of things in the minds of, of the young student athletes where they get out there and they're getting so close that maybe they get a little tight. Maybe they're not as, you know, relaxed. Is that something as a coach you're aware of and, and you have to coach that? Yeah, you are. You know, you, you try to stay away from the finality of anything yeah. until it's there. And But but as a coach, you know, I, I'm a very emotional person. Uh, and I tried not to think about <laughs> what would happen if, unless – unless it come that moment. And, uh, you know, I, I never will forget the state championship last year. I was, I was so worried about the boys uh, because they had put so much into it, you know, and they were so close to winning that state championship that your number one thought was just to make sure that they were okay. And, and then, you know, once we talked, and I talked to them seniors, and you, you, you knew that they had a sense that they had given everything they got, then you could look on to, okay, 
we did our job, you know. Yeah. And it's leading up to it. I think you just want them to know, hey, if you go out, go out with your best effort. And I, that was always our goal. Don't wake up Saturday morning thinking, what if I'd have played a little harder? Yeah. Uh, what if, uh, you know, I think we were the better team, but we lost because. You try to eliminate all them things by just telling them, hey, if we're done tomorrow, make sure we're done because somebody's better than us. And I think every year that we lost at a regional championship, we had that we, we had that sense, hey, that team was probably a little better than us, but we, we deserved to be here. We did what we needed to do once we got here, and we left it on the football field. And that, even this year, you know, first round of the playoffs, we go into unknown territory. Uh, you know, there was a lot of people in Western Kentucky that night that didn't think we was going to give it a game. Right. And, you know, truth be known, if it wasn't for a late pick and score on a Hail Mary pass, it was a three-point ball game and uh, instead of a ten-point game. And, you know, but our kids, I think they felt, hey, we, we showed up tonight and we played football the way it was supposed to be played. Coach, we appreciate you stopping by and chatting with us. Great and stuff. Guys, Coach, appreciate thank you. Next Thanks for everything you, you do. And anytime.